Hi, I'm Dan Welch with Emerging Civil War, and behind me is the famed Dunker Church on the Antietam National Battlefield. The Dunker Church's origins would begin in 1851 when local family and property owner, the Moomaw family, would donate a tract of land for the growing congregation of the Church of the Brethren around Sharpsburg, Maryland. Two years later, in 1853, the church's construction would be completed and services would be held. Little could the congregation imagine that just nine short years later, on Sunday, September 14th, as they were taking part in their religious services here at this church, battle would wage not more than a dozen miles away at South Mountain. Just several days later, those horrific sounds of battle would make their way here to the rolling farm fields and terrain around the town of Sharpsburg, Maryland. Heavy fighting would take place on the Dunker Church Plateau and in the woods around me, later to become known as the West Woods. Days after the fighting, the landscape around the Dunker Church would resemble a cemetery where graves of Union and Confederate soldiers would be buried from the high casualties that mark the fighting in the West Woods. The Dunker Church's history would continue on. By, however, by the early 20th century, the church had grown into disrepair after the Church of the Brethren had moved their congregation into a much larger facility in the town of Sharpsburg itself. It wouldn't be till much later in the 20th century that the church would be rebuilt from its disrepaired estate, uh, for that matter, utilizing the same brick and stones that it had been constructed out of between 1851 and 1853. Today you can visit the scene of the fighting of the West Woods and the Dunker Church here on the Antietam National Battlefield.